gonna talk about me, babe. Talk about ah. That is your boy Rob from Briggs Fitness. And I'm gonna be vlogging today. Today's chest day. Gotta get a good chest pump in today. Um, I've been doing some research, so I got a few different exercises that I'm gonna, uh, that I'm going to incorporate into my chest routine today. I've been doing a little strength training, trying to get a little stronger because I'm honestly I'm nowhere near as strong as I should be. So I'm slowly stepping into the world of strength training. Uh, you guys are going to witness this journey with me. This is a whole new uh, territory for me. I've honestly never done any strength training. I've always just stuck to hypertrophy rep ranges and endurance rep ranges. So this is uh, the beginning of my strength journey. And it's not, it's not because I want to be macho macho in the gym. It's more so because I need to break past this level of um, hypertrophy, which is muscle building that I'm currently on. And the only way I can do that is is to increase my strength so that I can do, I can lift heavier weights when I'm doing my hypertrophy sets, which is that rep range between eight and 12, 15. So that's the only reason why I'm doing strength training. And it's, 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 it's the only way to keep progressing. So strength training it is for now. I'll see y'all at the gym. I hired a, a camera person. And look who it is. And look what she's doing. <laughs> I'm about to fire you already. You're my, you're my camera person and you over here. Okay, let me camera this thing. Let's get it. Right. Are you happy so now? Your, your pay is gonna be 12, $5. 12 cents an hour. What? <laughs> 12 cents? <laughs> So we're in here doing five by fives. Candice is putting in some work. Alicia's over here on Instagram live, having the time of her life. You having fun with her? Yeah. Oh, so whoever's on the screen right now is about to be on the next vlog. That's, that's super lit. And I told them to subscribe to your channel. Cool. Uncle's in the cut. I normally don't do the whole bounce off the chest thing, but I kind of had to. So it's, it, in my opinion, it's it's cheating a little bit, but if it allows you to lift heavy weights and you know how to you know how to do it properly with good mechanics, then go for it. What are you doing? I don't know. Feeling the burn? Yeah. Make sure you squeeze your pecs. <laughs> so as I'm lifting heavier now, I'm discovering that my bench press form actually sucks so I'm gonna work on that don't look at what I do and and use that to determine how you should do it because honestly my bench press form needs some work so I'm gonna just do it look I did that stupid bounce off the bar bouncing off the chest thing and I never do that I always stop about six inches four inch four to six inches above my chest and I did that bar on the chest thing and it hurt like I I'm in pain right now. <laughs> yeah, I hurt. <laughs> it hurts. <laughs> Thank you, baby. Yes.
so now I'm about to do my cardio. Now, this disclaimer that I'm about to give you guys, I, maybe I should have done this a long time ago, maybe when I first started the channel. But yes, I am a certified personal trainer. Yes, I've lost a lot of weight. And yes, I do know a lot, but I do not know everything. With that being said, you know, there are things that I need to work on. You know, there's, you know, form, and there's, I may slip up with some information from time to time because I'm still learning just like you guys. So this is my disclaimer. You know, I'm gonna do the best that I can to provide the most accurate information that I can to you guys, but I am not perfect. I don't know everything and no one does. So even the most educated, you know, with the most credentials, you know, trainer or YouTube personality, they may mess up sometimes. So with that being said, uh, make sure you're doing your own research. Always take all the information with a grain of salt. I don't even know what that, that saying means, but just make sure you uh, educate yourself and double check your sources because it's not always right. So I just wanted to leave that with y'all. Let me do this freaking cardio. I'll see y'all in a minute. So uh, it's now Saturday morning. RJ has a game at one. So. Candace calls me, calls me into the bathroom about, mm, I say an hour ago, and she's, you know, she's reviewing my account. She see that Amazon charged me two hundred dollars, one hundred and ninety nine dollars, and I'm like, what's this? So I call Amazon, and apparently, RJ has been ordering Minecraft mods. He spent two hundred dollars on Minecraft mods, so now. He has to pay me back $200 in order for him to get back his device. So, as a man, you have to, you have to pay your, the price for the decisions you made. You knew that they were going to charge my card, correct? So now, you have to pay back $200. What do you have to say about that? Um, I don't want to, but I have to. Why'd you do that? Serious question. Because I understand you're not in trouble. You did something wrong. You're going to pay the price for it. But you're not in trouble. You made a decision as a man. And you're just going to have to pay for that decision. Literally. So we just pulled up at RJ's game. You better put this work in, right? Yep. They say they got two young guards that's supposed to be nice. We have two young guards that's supposed to be nice too. Don't get don't get cooked out here. There you go. It's your game. Let's go. Let's go, guys. They didn't pull it off. Oh, this is zoomed in. RJ had eight points. It's good to finally see him play against somebody that's better than him. He stepped up to the plate though. He did really good, I'm proud of him.
What's up, man? Yo, you played a hell of a game, boy. You hear me? You stepped up. You was aggressive. I loved how you played today. You did a good job, man.